time comes when we must stand and fight against the odds. And the size of the opponent can make no difference. To be a real champion is the ultimate yeah. test. Yeah. To win is the ultimate goal. I came to crush anybody in my way. They getting hit with the chin music. Punk straight getting it. My team versus your team ain't a thing. Take it to the ring. Fight to the extreme. We can go from night till morn. Wild out. Everybody get it on. I catch you out there with the Polish hammer Throw you to my man and watch some earth slam ya We number one and we bad for your health You got no help, we snatching those belts I knock you out of this building, boy Cause I came to crush, kill, destroy Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy Destroy, destroy, destroy Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy Destroy, destroy, destroy Back down, raw, now we fighting for once more, is it you with the signature move? Is it you with the heart that refuses to lose? Is it you for the tap out? One, two, three. Is it you trying to lay the smack down on me? I ain't having it be. You can never be raw than me. So let's take it to the ring so everybody can see me. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Crush, crush, kill, kill, destroy, 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 destroy. Yo, ain't nobody better. What's up, NXT Universe? It is time for our first pay-per-view. So if you guys missed it, I did a tag team championship tournament a few weeks ago. There's going to be a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. But basically, we've come down to two teams. So it's going to be Chris Valerio and Remnant Elementers, the Polka Elementers, taking on yours truly and his boy, Too Cool Skeleton. So um, the game ML Skell is going to be squaring off against the Polka Elementers, and then the winner of that match will be the official very first Fan XT Champions. And then in the main event of the evening, we're going to be having the uh, former champion, Terminator, taking on the current champion, uh, Angel. And that's going to culminate the pay-per-view. There's only going to be two matches tonight. They were super, super long matches. I, I honestly did some editing. Um, I took a few parts out just to kind of shorten it down a little bit. But if you'd like to see these matches in their entirety, unedited, just raw gameplay, there's also going to be links to those in the description here too. So if you guys, you know, you guys think maybe I'm like up to no good, maybe I changed the results a little bit, that's, you know, solid concrete proof. So if you guys want to see those matches, there is a link in the description to those. I am going to warn you, they are kind of long though. So um, without further ado, let's get started with the pay-per-view. Hope you guys like Fan XT Proving Ground. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think of it. All right, guys, welcome to the Fan XT pay per view. Let's get this thing underway here. Coming out first is the team of Chris Valerio and Remnant Elementor, Polka Elementors. All right, so this team um, almost got a buy in the first round. They quickly swept their opponents uh, under the rug, allowing them to secure like an easy pass kind of through the first round. Um, they won by count out, so they have a little bit more momentum going into this match as they are probably not as tired as the other team, which has already endured uh, two grueling matches back to back. Um, so hopefully, you know, for the game ML Skill's sake, they can pull it off. But honestly, my money is going to be on Polka Elementers. And their opponents. There you see the game MLL on the left, two cool skeletons on the right, the game ML Skell. And here they come. They've got quite an uphill battle ahead of them. They expect to be the first Fan XT Tag Team Champions. This is the first Fan XT pay-per-view, so we're making history today, guys. Right now, I am out of town, so this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do a recorded show for, for the pay-per-view here. Like I said, this will all be raw gameplay. There will be little to no editing, just some, maybe some music, maybe some camera zooms here and there. But, you know, you guys will be able to tell I'm not playing the match, so. Whoever wins, wins. All right. 
right, let's, let's get this thing underway here. There you see it, the beautiful Fan XT Tag Team titles. He's going to be the first ones to make history. Who's going to take their spot in the Proving Ground? All right, Skellies goes in with a big boot to the stomach. Catches him with a neck breaker. So what do you guys think of the Fan XT pay-per-view arena? Let me know in the comments section. Oh, big dragon screw from Chris Valerio. Chris Valerio also has gold on the N60 Sean channel. So if you haven't subscribed to him, make sure you guys check out N60 Sean. It's the Heroes Champion sending the turnbuckle. The game MLL has seen enough. Oh, and he hucks him over two cool skeletons. Luckily, he didn't land on his partner there. And he pays for intervening. And a little bit of cat and mouse here. Two cool skeletons rushes in. Kicks him right in the kneecap. And there's a Mishinoku driver. What's Chris got up his sleeve here? There's a reversal from two cool skeletons. Laying the boots on thick. Going for that arm. Springboard. Nice splash across the back. And off the ropes. Oh, a standing super kick from Chris. Just about jaw jacked Mr. Skeleton over here. Get shrugged off. And he gets tossed into enemy territory. Not able to secure the tag team maneuver, however. Skelly's is going for another try, though. Chris just not wanting to get that tag team move done to him. Doing everything in his power to stay out of the corner. This has to be bleeding his reversals dry. And slowly but surely, like chopping down the tree, they finally get it cut. And there's an assisted leg drop. Nice tandem offense from the game ML Skell. The game lateral press two and kick out from Chris Valerio. Shots to the midsection. Shots to the face. Oh, big back body drop. Chris is in desperate need of a tag at the moment. The fresh fresh man in the ring not doing him any favors big curb stomp beautiful moonsault and what's he going for here some sort of a pin no he floats into the cross arm breaker oh he's got the leg hook interesting submission hold game MLL twisted him up like a pretzel but Chris reverses He needs to find a way to make a tag to Remnant Elementor. And the game going for that patented ankle lock. Breaking ankles just like in Friday the 13th. Chris finds an escape though. And there's the po Pika Kenrana. I believe that's his, one of his signature maneuvers. Set up for his finishing move. Oh, the Moonlight Drive floats into the cover. One, two, and the game MLL kicks out. And just like I was saying, he was in desperate need of a tag. He finally makes his way over to Remnant Elementor. Now we have the fresh man in from the Polka Elementor team in the ring. And there's a top wrist lock into a back body drop. Big stomps from the game here. Oh, whitewashing him into the canvas. Dirty move. Slightly underhanded. So he's setting up here. Could he possibly be going for the game over already? I don't think this is going to keep down Remnant Elementor. Boom, game over. The butterfly pile driver hooks the leg. One, two, 
And remember, both of these teams have already uh, gone through a couple matches. Damage retention was left on, and we are resuming right where we left off. We just have a different arena. Stakes are high tonight. Trying to crown the first Fan XT champions for the tag team division. Don't forget to check out the main event, you guys. It's going to be Terminator. Getting one more match against Angel. And it's going to be for that beautiful Fan XT championship. There's the Dirty Deeds. Dirty Deeds. One, two, and Skelly's kicks out. Skelly throws him into enemy or gets thrown in rather into enemy territory. Might be setting up that master catch. Master catch. That's got to be it. Hooks the leg. Wake up, referee. One, two, three. No. Two cool skeletons finds a way to power out, and Chris making the wise decision taking the fresher man back into the ring. And I don't think he believes that was enough either. Two. Making two cool skeletons expend his energy kicking out of those pins. And it looks like he's ascending to the top rope. What's he looking for here? Skelly's... Oh! Skelly's is ready! He catches him! What's he sitting up here? He's marching around the ring. Skell shock! Skell shock! Goes for the cover. One. Two. And he just barely gets the shoulder up. Remnant Elementor needs to be careful. It may have been the fresher man at one point, but absorbing finishing moves isn't going to do you any favors. These two working out some good tandem offense. Oh, the 3D goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, <laughs> the game letting him, letting the crowd know what he thinks of him tonight. And there's a dragon screw right to the kneecap. It just buckled under the pressure. Game with a shot to the bread basket on Remnant. Floats over to the arm drag. Nice maneuver. And the Poke Elementor's in a bit of trouble. Coming in as the odds-on favorite. Tags in Chris Valerio, who's had a few moments of breather time. Is it going to be enough to help him get an advantage in this match? Counters with the top wrist lock. And the game not quick enough. It's caught off guard with the snap suplex. Oh, maybe not. It's spoke too soon. Oh, the game. There's no way he can reverse. Oh, game over. Game over. Goes for the cover. Remnant still recovering. Two. Oh, that was so close. I think that... uh. Rem Remnant Elementors, excuse me, I think that the Polka Elementors need to keep their head on straight. I think they may have come in here taking the game ML Skell too lightly. One, two. Where's the game going now? Creates an opening for two cool skeletons. Nice knee breaker there. Goes out onto the apron. Oh, springboard swanton bomb. Skelly has wings. Skelly's going to fly. Big forearm shots. Pika can rana. It's a signature maneuver. One, two, and emphatically kicks out a two. He dodges the drop kick. Took a little bit too much time there. T-Bone! It's two cool skeleton signature move, the T-Bone. Throws him into enemy territory. What's he going for here? Oh, he dives in between the ropes. Oh, big tornado DDT onto the floor. Just about knocked his lights out with that DDT. 
I don't know anybody that's taken a DDT on the cement and been like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Rough shot here. Now, where's he going now? He's tossed into enemy territory again. This time he escapes. Not for long. Skelly's is so persistent. And it backfires on him. What's Chris looking for here? He's not thinking about doing this on the floor, is he? Oh! Get a broke his spine. Throws him back into the ring. This might be it for the game ML skill. Wait, what's Chris setting up here? Is he going to hit him with the taste of his own medicine? Oh, springboard her and Kenrana. Nice maneuver. It's Pika Kenrana again. And Skelly's though. Perhaps Chris should have went for that cover. Oh! Reverse buzzsaw kick. Nice, uh, nice short drop kick. Or was that a leg drop, rather? Judo throw. Nice counter from Chris. Gets countered with the fireman's carry from Skills. Who's gonna pull this off? Oh, if he hits this, this could be everything. I think he's going up for the phenomenal funny bone. Oh, but Chris, Chris was ready. Catches him with that beautiful European uppercut. Just about ended Skelly's there. Big suplex. If I was Skelly's, I'd be going for that cover. Oh, he actually did. Floats into the cover. Two. And only a two count. Set him up for a power bomb. Oh, but Skelly counters. Off the ropes. <laughs> What's he doing here? Oh, dancing leg drop. And Skelly's is starting to feel it here. Wisely tags in the game. Looks like he needs to rest a little bit. Game's had lots of time out on the apron to recoup. But he runs right into a reversal. Goes for the cover. Is this going to be enough? Two. And game kicks out. Scores with the drop kick on the game. Goes up to the middle rope. Oh! Phoenix Splash. Game's in a bit of trouble here. If he hits this, I think this could be everything here. Oh, wait a second. Is he setting up the, the tag team move? And Remnant was recouping or else I think they would have hit the finishing move. Nice version of the Pika Kenrana. Just going to make the tag with nobody home. Rolls out of the way. Where's he going with him? Into the turnbuckles. And scores with the DDT. Oh, he hung the game out to dry. Dumping him right on his face there. I think that may have just angered the game. <laughs> I guess he's got two words for Chris. Ankle walk. One. Two cranks on the ankle. I think he's going to get out, though. Yeah, he wasn't able to really cinch that thing on super tight, but it was enough to do a little bit of leg damage. Into the front face lock. Oh, the step over reverse heel kick. Shades of Rob Van Dam. Going after the knee himself. Counters the, the right hand. What's he going for here? Skelly's taking a breather. Hangs him upside down into the tree of woe. What's he setting up? Oh, big choke with the shin. Right into the jaw. That doesn't knock you out. That'll definitely take the air out of your lungs. 
shrugs him off. And what's he setting up here? Throws him to the turnbuckles. It's gonna be a stomp party. Tags and remnants. Tags himself back in. These guys are keeping the heat on the game. Game in a heap of trouble here. And a basement drop kick. I think this could be it for the game ML Skell. Goes for the cover. He's all over Skelly's. One, two. Game finally finds a way to dig down deep. Nice arm drag takedown. And he gets countered. It's launched across the ring. It's a big back blow. And he gets launched to the other side of the ring. This time, oh, he hangs Remnant out to dry the same way that Chris Valerio busted him open earlier. What's he setting up here? Oh, super power bomb. One, two, and wasn't enough, but he did float into the Boston Crab. Who's gonna win this thing? Oh, the game dumped all the way on the outside. Right into enemy territory. A little bit of cat and mouse. Uh-oh, I think that backfired on the game. Nice backdrop suplex. And he gets reversed on in his own corner. What's he setting up here? Oh, he slides under the bottom rope, scores with the drop kick. And he gets tossed into the ring. Tags back in Skelly's. He's recovered his momentum. Okay, the game got a little bit tied up on the ropes there. It's down to Remnant and Skelly's here. Skelly's on the apron. Brought back in the hard way. Boom. And looks like he's looking to tag out. Brings Chris Valerio back in the ring. As long as Chris has a finishing move, Skelly's is not going to be able to hit that phenomenal funny bone. Looks like he's setting him up. Oh, he scores with it this time. Phenomenal funny bone. Oh, he countered the Pika Kinrana into a sit-down powerbomb. Nice maneuver. Set him up for a second one. Oh, he scores with it again. Is that going to be enough? Hooks the leg. One. Two. Oh, just barely. I think Remnant and Chris have maybe about one more finishing move left in them before it's too late. There's a super power bomb from Skelly's this time. One. Two, and Skelly's floats into the Boston Crab. Seems like no matter what the game ML Skell tries to do, they're not able to make the save on the other end of the ring. For whatever reason. And it looks like Chris might be going to swinging. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight rotations off the giant swing. What's Skelly setting up here? Oh, big chop. Starting to mount a comeback. Full head of steam. A 
whips him into the game. Uh oh, I think they're returning the favor. The skeleton stampede on the way. Boom. Unmerciful kicks. Oh, big basement drop kick. I think if the game goes for the cover. Oh, wait a second. Miscommunication from Skelly's. Now, I know the game doesn't have a phenomenal funny bone. What's he setting up here? Oh, nice springboard drop kick. Goes for that ankle again. He's just determined to break the leg of Chris Valerio. And I don't think he's going to get him that way. Chris, too savvy in escaping submission holds. Nice arm drag takedown. Big time DDT. Reversal. Top wrist lock. And he gets launched into the corner. Are they setting up that game ML Skill Cutter? ML Skill Cutter. That could be it. Goes for the cover. Referee out of place. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Good match from both teams. I want to give a shout out right now to Chris Valerio and Remnant Elementor. You guys put up one hell of a fight, I must say. But in the end, it was the game ML Skell hitting the ML Skell cutter out of nowhere, sealing the deal for the match. We have brand new Fan XT Tag Team Champions. Um, this is the first time the Fan XT titles have made their presence known. The culmination of the tournament came down to the underdogs versus the odds-on favorite. The underdogs somehow pulled it out. And there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of action. I could have gone either way. 100% honest there. I could have gone either way. There you see the game ML Scale Cutter. Excuse me, the ML Scale Cutter. Just getting a little hyped here. Still not able to keep the partner detained, but the partner did not notice the pinfall. So here are your winners. Two cool skeletons. The game MLL. The game ML Skell. All right, congratulations to these guys for being the Fan XT Tag Team Champions. Yo, I just want to give a shout out right now to, uh, you know, the runners up of the tournament. You guys put up a really good fight. I honestly thought you guys were going to win. I'm not going to lie, because um, going into the tournament, you know, like you guys took out uh, one of the best teams with no you know, damage. You guys came out almost unscathed completely. So, uh, you know, like, honestly, I thought that you guys were going to win. Um, not going to lie. I was super shocked. By the results, um, shout out to Polka Elementors for uh, putting up such a great fight. Better luck next time, guys, but uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of happy that my team won. <laughs> so um, thank you, Two Cool Skeletons, for being my tag team partner in this tournament. Super cool. Um, I'm happy that we pulled it off. Not going to lie. All right, guys, so let's head over to the main event of the evening. It's going to be EPF Gamer, a.k.a. Max, a.k.a. Angel, a.k.a. AKA, AKA no, Black Man. Just kidding. Um, no, it's going to be Max taking on Terminator. So the winner of that is going to be the Fan XT Champion. And this will be the last time that these two square off. So if uh, somebody loses, they, they, they automatically forfeit their, uh, their rematch clause for the title. So uh, this will be the last time these two square off. It's not going to be uh, forever. Like if they earn a new title opportunity, sure, I'll let them fight again. But we're going to kind of wipe the, the slate clean. We'll be declaring a new number one contender in the near future. So let's head down to the ring and let's get started.
All right, guys, here comes the main event. This is for all of the marbles here. It's going to be Terminator. One last time challenging Angel, a.k.a. PPF Gamer, a.k.a. Max59, for the Fan XT Championship. So I've added a stipulation that there can be no rematch after this match because these guys have passed the title back and forth so many times. People are ready to see, uh, you know, other things develop from the show. So, like, no offense to either of these, you know, competitors. They're both great, in my opinion. But uh, the show must go on, as they say. So, with that being said, um, you know, whoever wins, wins. If um, in the future, you know, they earn another tag, excuse me, another title opportunity, then, you know, that's fine. But for now, you know, like, we're going to wipe the, the slate clean. We're going to be crowning a new number one contender in the near future. There he is, rocking his Zaninators t-shirt. And he is patiently awaiting the arrival of the Fan XT Champion, PPF Gamer. So if you guys have never seen PPF Gamer's channel, um, he does his own leagues, he has his own Raw and SmackDown general managers, and uh, NXT general managers, actually uh, Two Cool Skeletons is the general manager on his show, so if you guys want to see that angle, make sure you guys go check out his NXT episodes for sure, but um, you know, all around pretty humble guy, pretty cool guy, um, he, he does his live stream shows just about every day, there's going to be a link in the description to subscribe to him. I recommend doing so. He's pretty funny. Nice guy. Um, anyways, he is the current reigning Fan XT champion with his character Angel. Angel's a tough customer. Don't let his flamboyant vest fool you. There is a lot of skill. You gotta watch out for his Fallen Angel Slam, which is uh, like a full Nelson into an elevated back slam. It's a pretty cool move. Alright, there you see it, the beautiful Fan XT title. Who's going to be leaving here the champion? And here we go, it's showtime guys. Irish Whip immediately throws him out of the ring. And you'll notice the referee not doing any counting. This is because this is a no disqualification match. There must be a winner. And it must be by pinfall or submission. The shot to the ribs. PPF Gamer throws him into the uh, into the ring. But not like, like it sounds. His face hit the ring. He's looking for an equalizer. What has he got here? Sledgehammer. Stops him, catches him with the STL. And PPF Gamer turns it into a jawbreaker and dumps him on his head with a short head scissors. In case you guys are wondering, yes, there is a difference between a head scissors and a Heron Kenrana. Floats over into the DDT. I use that move, that's a great move. Kick to the stump, excuse me, to the chest. Stomps on the side of the head. Knee drop to the ribs. He's just dissecting Terminator at this point. Has him out on the concrete of all places. There's double protective paddings on that part of the arena floor. All the damage is doubled out on the, on the floor. Oh, fall away slam right into the barricade. And this thing has got out of hand already. We knew it would. Titles do that. PBF Gamer runs into the ring. Angel gets countered by Terminator. Terminator answers back with a knee strike. And he picks him up. Snap suplex from the big man. Misses the flying clothesline. 
Oh, Max whips him around into a reverse Frankensteiner. Beautiful counter. Now he has him with the gut wrench. Oh, Gordo Buster. Oh, excuse me, that was just a gut wrench suplex. There's his famous chokehold. He's got the leg choke across the neck with the boot. He's beaten him before with that maneuver. Hooks the leg. One. Two. I thought that was going to be a one-sided victory there for a second. Terminator needs to pull himself out of the ashes. He wants any chance of winning this match. Angel setting him up. Angel looks like he's ready to fly. Oh, he counters the spear. Maybe he heard me over here. Finally getting some offense to his favorite back body drop. Oh, there's an elbow into the sternum. Ducks the insigiri. But not the reverse elbow. Has him in a military press. Right down onto the knee. Modified gut buster. One. Two. It's getting a solid two count. This is not good if you're a Terminator fan. Looks like he's setting him up for something. Oh, big knee drop. Tilt the world power slam. And he catches him with a teardrop suplex. Spiking him into the mat. Is he looking for that elusive tombstone pile driver? Turns him upside down. PPF Gamer, nowhere to go but down! Spiked into the mat. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Three. No! Only a two count. PPF Gamer showing his resiliency and why he's the Fan XT champion. Only one man is walking out of here with the Fan XT title. Terminator taking it to another level. What's he looking for now? Oh, there's a staple of my show. If you guys have seen my show before, everybody knows how dangerous those ladders can be. And nowhere to go. Runs right into the ladder. Stiff kick into the kneecap. It's just enough to keep him stunned for a second. And Max keeping his eye on the prize. Throws him back into the ring. Into the turnbuckles. Gets a reverse elbow for his trouble. Gotta figure he's looking for that OMG moment. Oh, big fall away slam. Terminator celebrating perhaps a little bit too early. Pointing at that Fan XT championship. Is he going for a second tombstone? For the second time! Tombstone. This has to be it. New champion. One. Two. Three. Oh. Barely got the shoulder up. Scores with the DDT. And Terminator has turned the momentum of this match into his favor. Oh, like before, he ducks the clothesline. Receives one of his own in the corner, though. Shades of Rob Van Dam. Guillotine leg drop. And Max looks like he's measuring him up for something. It's another knee drop into the face. I don't know how much protection that mask is going to provide. And PPF Gamer now looking for a weapon. What's he got here? He's got a kendo stick. Kendo stick in hand. Oh... Got one shot across the spot. He thinks that's enough. One. Two. Still not enough. Big knee strike right into the th into the throat. Catch an angel off guard. Goes for that big chop. Finds a left fist instead. Oh, big um, power bomb. I was trying to think of the name of that one. It wasn't really a gut wrench. 
The shades of test. It's that giant swing. It's lucky his head didn't hit the turnbuckles. And there's the eighth spin. Oh, he's not done with them. I thought he was going to go for the cover. Is he setting up that Fallen Angel Slam? Oh! Code of Silence. Code of Silence. I think that Terminator is going to find a way out of this, so it's very hard to submit Terminator. And he escapes. Hightails it out of the ring. I think Angel is uh, seeing success in his near future here. Goes for that baseball bat. One of the quick, quickest striking maneuvers is the baseball bat swing in this game. Oh, and the bat goes sailing. Actually, it didn't really go too far, but it looked like it was going really far. It went straight up with a spin. Luckily, you didn't land in the crowd. And there's the neck breaker over the knee. He hits another tombstone. I think this is going to be it for Angel. He kicked his leg. Oh, big back body drop. It's a big punch to the head there. PPF Gamer has no answer back for Terminator. Wait a second. Spoke too soon. There's the arm ringer. Is he sitting up here? It's swatted away. Uh oh. Could be choke slam time. Oh, choke slam all the way to hell. I believe that's it. One, two, and somehow Max finds a way to power out. See the frustration starting to boil over from Terminator. Max has absorbed a substantial amount of punishment. Terminator hoists him up. Tombstone. Just busted him wide open. And Angel fighting back. What's he going for here? Hoist him up straight up in there. Shades of Bill Goldberg hits the jackhammer. And now he's starting to feel the momentum, starting to come back. Getting that blood flowing. PPF game looks like he's setting up something big. Clothesline. Another clothesline. Ducks. Oh, scores with the super kick. And he's brought that ladder back into the ring. Big shots to the gut. I'd be wearing him down. Where's he going with Angel now? Angel catches him off guard. Oh, nice neck breaker from the top ropes. Never seen that move before. The snap mirror. Shakes the kickoff. Is he looking for that super power bomb? Oh, super power bomb. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. New Fan XT Champion. I'm sorry, I got so hyped. Fan XT Champion retains. This is like having a new fan XT champion. I'm sorry guys, I screwed it all up there. That just goes to show, you know, I didn't hardly do any editing. This match was like a 40 minute match and I just, I'm not going to lie guys. I moved a couple things around, but I mean, this is the, the legit results. This is the end of the match. You see some of the stuff that got cut out. He got kicked out of the tombstone. And of course the fans botch the super power bomb. But Max didn't. So here's your winner and still Fan XT Champion. PPF Gamer. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking out my Fan XT pay-per-view. If you'd like to pick up one of these bad boys, there's a link in the description of my t-shirt shop. Don't forget to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the Fan XT pay-per-view. I'm the game MLL signing out. You guys have a good rest of your weekend.